you don't have to have a conventionally attractive ripped partner to prove to people that you're hot. You're already hot. It doesn't matter what your partner looks like. You're hot on your own and your partner has good taste. And that's it. I can't think. Zoots me into outer space. The fact that fat folks say to all fat people all the time, like, oh, well, you're gonna die at 35, you're gonna die at 40 from a heart attack. Like, there are more fat old people than there are thin old people. Like, this study is from WebMD, and it literally shows that fat people in the overweight category are 13% less likely to die. And 67% of people over the age of 75 are overweight or obese. And 75% of people 65 to 74 are obese. People tend to gain weight throughout their life and then lose it once they become older and lose function. The things that people talk about as fat diseases like heart disease, diabetes, things like that. The diseases that thin people often think of as fat diseases like heart disease are actually really about sedentary lifestyles, which obviously exist prevalently in both fat and thin people. Randall, there is a cow outside. There's a cow farm. You're gonna find cows outside. Give me the dump truck ass jeans. All my dad gave me was fucking irrational, violent anger issues. No one's gonna simp for that. why you've never seen a fat bitch working out. Could it perhaps be because fitness spaces are filled with openly anti-fat, cruel pieces of shit like yourself? Is there no way we can get rid of him? Not without cause, Michael. I have cause. It is because I hate him. Girl, why do you hate yourself? I'll stay try to come on this app and tell everybody else that they hate themselves and that they're disgusting. And then you want to say I'm not as fat as the dangerously obese ones. Well, if being fat is unhealthy and you're fat, aren't you unhealthy too? Your body is not a fucking embarrassment to any big girl or any person at this point. If you see this video and you see a comment like this, block them, kick them, do whatever you got to do. But do not let this negative energy all up in your personal space. That's why I am never pressed about any shit y'all have to say to me on here. Because y'all are the ones who are miserable. Your page screams sadness to me. Your fashion sense is dead, gone, never to be revived. And you have the nerve to be sitting up here talking about people. I can't with y'all. Talking about having the conversation about body positivity is useless. The solution is losing weight. Y'all think the solution to everything is losing motherfucking weight. But I looked at your page and I know exactly why you are the way you are. Observe. This is you right here. This is you. You had your little weight loss journey. Congratulations. Baby, that was your life path. That's not everybody's life path. And why do y'all do that? You literally lived in a fat ass body and you have been on that side of discrimination. So for you to have been fat, face discrimination, lose the weight, and then do the same thing that people were doing to you. Like, girl, I can't even really go in on you the way I want to for two reasons. One, I don't want to get banned. Two, I... I don't want to get banned because <laughs> I really want to go in on you right now, sis. Like, you lost all that weight and you're still miserable as fuck. Your weight wasn't your problem, babe. You should have gone to therapy and the motherfucking gym, bitch. Because how is it that I weigh maybe three times more than you and I ain't pressed, but you're pressed about somebody else? Are you mad that people can love themselves without having to lose the weight? Is that why you're mad? Bitch, I will wear whatever the fuck I want to wear when I want to wear it when I feel like wearing it. Embarrass your man and family by wearing things that you can't fit or some shit like that. Girl, bye. And then for you to say that someone like me 
who's obese shouldn't be promoting body positivity is your pee dark is it it has to be losing weight was not your problem babe congratulations all that good for you you're still technically obese though if you really want to get into the logistics of it so you might want to go back to the gym maybe on the way there you can stop at the motherfucking library to work on your comprehension skills as well because you should have already known that i don't give a fuck and i'm gonna say what i want to say leave me alone lady you hate yourself <laughs> has more flavor than fat bitches in cow print that one that's free serotonin i love you all so so much just a regular reminder um that fat people need clothes i don't know why thin people get so uppity with their thin audacity when you point out that a brand isn't size inclusive when it only goes up to a 20 or a 24 they'll be like oh that's big enough pretty much everyone will fit into those clothes first of all your lack of understanding of english is bad pretty much inherently means not every you know secondly and more importantly the point is that people bigger than that exist and they need to wear clothes i don't believe in intentional weight loss but if you're a then they should just lose weight to buy other clothes person consider they need to wear clothes before they do that. They need to wear clothes because they exist right now and because they're human beings. Okay, can we talk about something completely ridiculous that happened this week? Lena Dunham came out of whatever cave she's been living in to talk about the new uh, vibe that she has as a fat person and the plus size line that she's come out with. And look, if you had come out with literally any sort of revolutionary form of plus size clothing instead of a 2005 Lane Bryant revamp in select sizes, then maybe I would give you some slack. But here we are. Look, and this is only scratching the surface because then she decides to sh on the body positivity movement instead of, I don't know, reflecting on her privilege as a mid-size fat. So I guess this is just a reminder that we're not here for Lena Dunham. She's never been here for us. So she can go f herself. Content warning, possible invalidation of body dysmorphia from an actual fat person. So this is like a genuine question. How do I get non-fat people who have body dysmorphia talking about how disgusting they think they look because in their brain they look like me? How do I get them off my For You page? Because I can't deal with this. Like these videos are so upsetting for me to watch and I... I don't know what words I should block. I just need to understand. Like, I need guidance and I need validation.